today we will solve the uh, problem uh, 6.1 chapter 6 of griffith uh, third edition introduction to quantum mechanics uh, this problem consists of uh, three uh, subdivision first we will see the subdivision a consider the parity operator in three dimensions so that uh, pi cat pi cat is the parity operator you see pi cat act on psi of r it produces uh, the another wave function uh, psi prime of r which is equal to psi uh, psi of minus r is uh, actually it, it is equivalent to a mirror reflection uh, followed by the rotation now we will see how far this is true let us take the uh, mirror operator m cat which act on uh, wave, wave function uh, psi of x y z uh, now let us say we are uh, taking the mirror image uh, along x y direction x y plane so this mirror image is along x y plane x y plane then naturally the z axis will change z will become minus z this will produce the reflection at z axis of course naturally the negative direction then you rotate the uh, wave function by 180 degree uh, this is a rotation by 180 degree that you have to keep in your mind rotation through 180 degree so naturally this is uh, we are rotating the x y plane plane by uh, 180 degree that means this x and y will become uh, minus uh, because we are rotating the x y plane not the z so uh, if you combine this first you do the rotation operation then uh, you take care of it that is uh, if you take the rotation operation, what will happen? Uh, this wave function x, y, z, x and y will get changed. So then after that, you take the uh, reflection operation. So uh, then uh, z also will become minus z. So this function will be psi, uh, psi of minus x minus y minus z, uh, which is equal to uh, psi of minus r because all coordinate become minus uh, so we have proved that this uh, uh, parity operator is equivalent to mirror reflection followed by a uh, rotation then we will move on to section p In section A, we dealt with uh, Cartesian coordinate. Now we will deal with the polar coordinate. So that for psi expressed in polar coordinates, the action of parity operator is when parity operator act on pi, uh, which is a function of r theta pi, is equal to uh, pi r uh, pi minus theta plus uh, pi plus pi. So now we will see whether it is the parity operation. That is, it has to change the uh, sign of the uh, wave function. First, in uh, Cartesian coordinate, x is equal to r sin theta cos pi. Here, uh, there is no change in r, but theta, I have replaced the theta by pi minus theta as given here. And pi is equal to pi plus pi. Now, you know this uh, you know this uh, sine pi minus theta is equal to sine theta this is equal to sine theta then what about this one that is cos pi plus pi uh, this is equal to minus cos pi theta this is equal to minus cos pi so sorry minus cos pi so uh, this is i i uh, renamed as x prime so x prime is equal to minus r sine theta cos pi 
similarly we will see about y y is equal to r sin theta sin pi that is this is conversion from uh, cartesian coordinate to polar coordinate now you replace theta pi pi minus theta as given in problem then pi uh, equal to pi plus pi now you know sin theta uh, sin uh, pi minus theta is uh, sin theta just now we have seen so this first term is uh, sin theta the next one is sin uh, pi plus uh, pi is equal to minus sin pi this is equal to minus sin pi so uh, the entire thing now y prime will become minus r uh, sin theta sin pi so here also sin change to negative uh, then we know z is equal to r cos theta in polar coordinate spherical polar coordinate then z prime will be r uh, cos theta is replaced by pi minus theta so now we have seen uh, that uh, cos pi minus theta is equal to minus cos theta so this can be replaced as minus r cos theta you can see that uh, x uh, x prime is equal to minus x y prime is equal to minus y z prime is equal to minus z all uh, will become um, a negative sign so naturally uh, this is a both are equivalent that is if you if uh, the parity operator act on the psi pi of pi r theta pi then it will become equivalent to psi uh, which is a function of r pi minus theta uh, pi plus pi so we have proved both then we will move on to section c uh, so uh, the next question is so that for a uh, heterogeneous orbitals uh, the uh, pi cat uh, psi nl m which is a function of r theta pi is equal to minus 1 uh, power l uh, psi nl m which is a function of r theta and pi uh, that is psi nl m is the eigen state of the parity operator with the eigen value naturally this will be eigen value that is with the eigen value of uh, minus 1 power l note this result actually applies to the stationary state of any central force uh, that is v of r is equal to v of r for a central force the eigen state may, may be written in the separable form that is r n l which is a function of r alone radial part of the wave function multiplied by y l m which is a function of theta and pi this is angular part of the wave function where only the radial function r n l which plays no role in determining the parity of the uh, state we know very well that uh, due to spherically symmetry uh, so it uh, parity operator does not affect the ra radial part of the wave function so it depends on the specific function of the form v of r now uh, the total wave function psi n l m uh, can be written as uh, separated into two parts as, as given in the problem that is radial part of the wave function r n l which is function of r alone and y l m which is a function of theta and pi so naturally when pi uh, uh, this uh, pi cat uh, act on the wave function it will not change the radial part of the wave, wave function it will uh, change only the angular part of the wave, wave function that is angular wave function uh, so by definition y l m theta uh, pi is equal to square root of we have seen so many time square root of 2l plus 1 uh, l minus m factorial uh, divided by 4 pi uh, and l plus m factorial e power i m pi plm cos theta this is by definition every time we need not write this uh, uh, this let, uh, parameter in the red color pan 
because it's nothing but uh, normalization constant uh, which uh, we can define uh, generally it depends on l and m so uh, k l m i am writing this entire uh, square root part as k l m remaining thing i am keeping as it is that is e power uh, i m pi uh, into p l m of cos theta so when the operator uh, pi that is parity operator act on uh, psi n and lm uh, it's going to be r n l of r because it will not affect the radial part it will affect only the angular part y l m uh, pi minus theta uh, uh, comma pi plus pi so y l m uh, which is a function of theta pi just uh, theta and pi is just now we have seen is equal to k l m e power uh, i m pi multiplied by p l m uh, cos theta now you can replace pi by uh, this one pi plus pi so i have replaced this and the theta pi pi minus theta so uh, we know this uh, pi minus theta this one cos pi minus theta is equal to minus cos theta. So that I have written. Uh, here uh, e power, uh, this part I can write uh, into two portion. e power, uh, that is e power i m. This can be written as e power i m pi. i m pi into e power i m pi. Uh, but we know e power i m pi value i m pi value is uh, minus 1 power m because e power i pi is equal to 1 we know minus 1 in fact e power uh, i pi is minus 1 so e power i m pi is equal to minus 1 uh, E, uh, power m if m is a even number then it will be plus uh, if it is odd it is minus that's all so i have replaced this pi uh, this factor that is uh, e power i m pi into two part so i have written like this and now we know that p l m of minus x is equal to uh, minus 1 L uh, power L plus M uh, multiplied by PLM X. So I want to uh, make it positive. If um, uh, X is cos uh, theta, then this will be uh, minus cos theta, which will become plus cos theta, provided you replace this here. Uh, that is, I will use a different color. Uh, so you replace replace this by using this so uh, you will get minus 1 l plus m here say already there is minus m so which will become minus l plus uh, 2m because already there is one m here and another m is here then remaining thing i am keeping e power uh, i m pi uh, then this is uh, plm cos theta because this minus I am replacing uh, in terms of plus uh, by multiplying this factor. Now, uh, if you critically analyze uh, whether m is odd number or even number, 2m is uh, uh, surely is an even number. So, uh, minus 1 uh, power uh, even number will be plus 1. So, you can ignore this one. That is, you can uh, ignore 2m because it is always an even integer so naturally uh, this will be plus 1 so only the l uh, l is matter here so i am retaining this as minus 1 uh, l uh, klm then this term e power i m pi plm cos theta now we will see further how so uh, now we got the result when uh, the 
pi operator act on ylm which is a function of theta and pi we got the final result as minus 1 uh, power l klm uh, e power i m pi multiplied by plm cos theta uh, now you know what is this term this term uh, pi definition uh, this klm then exponential term then plm cos theta is equal to uh, psi lm pi after carrying out this con uh, conversion that is theta uh, is changed to 2 pi minus uh, theta and pi is changed to pi plus uh, pi uh, so uh, when this uh, parity operator act on the wave function ylm we will get minus 1 power l ylm that is the same wave function so the eigenvalue of this uh, pi operator is minus 1 power L. Hence, we have proved all the uh, section A to C. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.